Number two, the film. It's all about a matriarch, an old lady, who decrees that her families are going to throw a party for her. And the f question in the film is, are they going to make it? You know, are they, is there too much going on, too much wrong with the family? I had a really strong response to the film and I'd always wanted to write a, a gospel song, like a big celebratory gospel song about redemption, about, about wanting to jump into life and uh, not tipped over around the edge anymore. And it kind of wrote itself, I, I just sort of sat down and after a few hours it was kind of done. I suppose central to my career has always been songwriting, I've always been a songwriter, but at the same time um, I'm interested in film and I love storytelling. All up I've done I think like eight feature films and I think five long running TV series. I use Pro Tools in lots of different ways. For instance with the song Bathe in the River, I pull up the film, sketch a song, you know, just with a pencil and paper and a guitar. Then I'll, I'll lay up a, a tempo map, some rough MIDI, do a rough vocal, um, get all that sitting nicely in Pro Tools, um, and then I'll start writing a rough idea of a bass line, for instance, using MIDI. Then I'll um, usually quantize that in Pro Tools, um, save it as a standard MIDI file, tidy it up in some values and carry on composing. It's very much what you hear is what you get. I'm constantly swapping backwards and forwards between Pro Tools and Sibelius. I don't feel afraid. We gradually sort of expanded the arrangement, you know, I added brass and added more strings and it became a sort of big arrangement and I was using Sibelius for all of that. Travelling all over the country with, with the Pro Tools session and my Sibelius scores. The fact that Pro Tools is so flexible, you can easily move from one platform to another and I know that everywhere I go in the world I'll be compatible with the people that I want to collaborate with. I mean, that's a big plus for me. I had great brass players that I wanted to work with in Wellington, so I just flew down, we just did a, did a brass section. You can do that with this technology. We ended up with the song, which, which um, was really for the movie. After the fact, uh, EMI in New Zealand decided to release the single, and it became the most played New Zealand single that year. The biggest hit I've ever had, actually.